This video is going to talk about sketching. You should have already watched the user interface video so you understand the toolbars, the browser, the canvas, the timeline, the application bar, so you know what everything is, um, where it is, what it does for the most part, at least in general terms. Now the way that sketching works is it's very, very similar to a sketch in real life. If you were to pull out a piece of paper that is very similar to opening a sketch, and then if you were to grab a pen or pencil and start sketching shapes, objects, and letters onto a paper, that is very, very similar to what we do with the CAD sketches. The only difference is that in CAD, we take those sketched items and we generally make 3D shapes from them, whereas we don't have that ability uh, with a piece of paper in real life. So now to open a sketch, we use the Create a Sketch tool. We left click it and we get this on our canvas. And what we see is the computer asking us where we would like to sketch. Now, once we have a 3D object created with flat sides or faces, we can sketch directly on those faces. But right now, before we have anything created, we need to sketch on an existing uh, plane or we can even create a plane if we want it in a very specific place but starting out we generally just use the planes given I'm gonna select this one and one thing I want to point out real quick is this point right in the middle of everything is called the origin point that origin point is 0 0 0 for our X Y and Z axes It's essentially the center of our sketching universe I'm gonna select this plane and you'll notice that it's giving me a two-dimensional view of this plane now this plane is very similar to our sheet of paper and there are many tools that we can use to do sketching the simplest of which is the line tool but there are rectangle tools circle tools arcs polygons ellipses slots there's lots of stuff there's even a text tool and a point tool i'm just going to use the line tool and i'm just going to sketch a bunch of lines and you'll notice that the computer is giving me dashed lines it's giving me length and dimensions it's, it's trying to give me as much information as it can about what I'm doing and the idea of that is to help me um, sketch my desired object you'll even see it's putting in constraints right now which you'll learn a lot more about constraints in the near future but I'm just gonna sketch a very abstract large object and you'll notice that it's just making lines. It's putting in some constraints. Um, but I want you to notice that when I um, enclose, fully enclose the object by connecting these two lines, that the object turns blue. That turning blue is very, very important because it's telling me that this object is totally enclosed. And now I can make 3D features out of it. If I were to get these two lines very close but not touching, then this wouldn't turn blue because I couldn't extrude that. Now let's go back to sketching. Now this sketch, say that's what I wanted to do and I'm done with it. I can exit a sketch by clicking the finish sketch button, but I lose the opportunity or the ability to manipulate this at all. If I want to go back in and maybe change something in that last sketch, there's a couple ways I can do that. I can open up the sketch folder. I can expand that. And I will see my all my sketches here for the most part. And I only have one right now, but in the future you could have you know dozens of sketches here. I can double click this, or I can right click and click edit, or I can come down here to the timeline and I can do the same thing here. I'm going to do the right click edit sketch method, and now I can change. Um, I can also drag, drop. I can delete, add, I can pretty much do anything I want here. So let's just say I'm going to extrude this. In a sketch, I can tell it I want to extrude. Select my profile, select, select the distance, and that's how I would make a 2D object into a 3D object. And that is essentially the point of CAD, is the ability to make 3D objects from 2D objects. It's generally how things are made. Not the only way, but it's the simplest and straightforward and probably the most common way of doing it. So now remember, sketches are very important. You don't want to have a bunch of sketches, but you do need to know how to use them, how to create them, 